Hello everybody, it's the Wizard Dude, and happy birthday to me, because today is my birthday. So I thought for my birthday I'd review my favorite Disney princess movie, Sleeping Beauty. Now, it takes place in an enchanted dominion. Yes, that's what Kingdom Hearts calls it, don't judge me. Anyway, in Enchanted Dominion, the princess there is Princess Aurora, who just so happens to be my favorite Disney princess. Mary Coast did an excellent job voicing her, and... And she sings really beautifully. She looks good, too. I prefer the pink dress over the blue one. Let me let me know which one you prefer. But anyway, uh, the only bad thing about it is she only got 18 lines and didn't show up that much. Which kind of sucks, I know. But anyway, into the story. So, at the beginning, the princess is born, named after King Stefan and Queen Leah, who names them after the dawn. And she ends up getting her betrothed, the son of King Hubert, Prince Philip, who, as a young boy, looks unknowingly into the eyes of his future bride. Then, who, the people who most, the three people who most of us consider the true heroes of this movie, are the three good fairies, Flora Fawn and Meriwether, who are fun heroes, but they come to give the baby gifts. Flora gives the baby the gift of beauty, Fauna the gift of song, and Meriwether is right about to give her a gift, which, let me know what you think it is, I'd say intelligence, because, oh no, the evil Maleficent comes in to spoil King Stephen and Queen Leah's fun. About Maleficent, I really like her. She's one of the best-known Disney villains of all time because of she looks and sounds intimidating, and and her voice is very powerful. So, Maleficent's gift is, before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, the, the princess will prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. But Meriwether manages to change this to, not in death, but just in sleep, and a true love's kiss, the spell will break. And so, that night, King Stefan orders that all spindles be burnt, which, I say they should have... He should have put a ban on anybody spinning clothes. After some thought, the fairies take Aurora into the night, nicknaming her Briar Rose and dressing up like peasants. And so for 16 long years, the whereabouts of the Princess Aurora, or Rose, remained a mystery. Then, upon her 16th birthday, while the fairies, to hilarious results, prepare a cake and a dress, which I honestly think that... Meriwether and Flora fighting over the color of the dress is childish and immature of them, since they're supposed to be the most mature characters in the entire movie. But anyway, Aurora actually meets Prince Philip for the first time in 16 years. She couldn't have remembered because she was just a baby, but somehow she does. Because they share a song and stuff, and she promises to meet him in the cottage. But... When she gets back, when Aurora gets back, though, the fairies give her the dress and gifts and stuff, but say she can't meet Philip, and they decide to take her home. And once they get home and give her the tiara, there was an Aurora, which you might have misheard as a kid. It's Maleficent hypnotizing her and making her prick her finger on the spindle that she summons. Saddened by this, the fairies put... All of Enchanted Dominion in sleep. <laughs> Eep until oh, the princess wakes back up. Meanwhile, Prince Philip gets captured by I, Maleficent's goons, who then take him to the Forbidden Mountains, where Maleficent recites a haunting poem about a hundred years later, or how he rescues the princess. After this, the fairies save Prince Philip and give him a sword and shield. Then they escape Maleficent's castle and goons, Whilst Meriwether freezes Diablo the Raven in, then Maleficent sends a forest of thorns just to impede them. But eventually the epic battle between Philip and Maleficent as a dragon, which looks awesome, happens. After this, Philip stabs the Maleficent and, just, and kills her. Kisses the princess and they live happily ever after and... Then Flora and Meriwether fight over Aurora's dress again. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and keep the suggestions coming. Laters!